Introducing Marcos Madman Hernandez. Please welcome the world rank contender, undefeated Armando, Armando Toro Resendi. the fight. Here, final minute in round number two. Again, Resendi's is going to try to make it physical. But even though Hernandez is the more slight fighter, he is also fairly rugged in there. And is not just some sort of, you know, boxer pecking from the outside. He throws a nice three-punch combination, lands that hook on the way out. And throw combinations. He's got to think about defense at that time. That's a nice jab for Hernandez and a hook and a combination there from Resendiz as he goes spilling Three, into the ropes. Four, Some power shots from Resendiz. Six. Oh wow, he's counting seven, that as a, a knockdown. Eight, come here. Uh, he got a lot of help and a push from from Hernandez Five. there. Let's go back and, and take a closer look, see how exactly it unfolded. No. The trading just seconds before. No. And then. Oh. Uh, no. He, no. That was not that a is knockdown. Not, that's not, did I miss a punch or that's not a knockdown? No. Right? No. There, there were see, punches being exchanged. Let's a, see. They, they, no. He didn't. They both threw right hands and Hernandez is missed. Where a judge can maybe decide on his own. Yes. Well, they can, but will they? Yes. Yes. Will, but will well, they? Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't think so. I would if I were convinced that it was the wrong call. I mean, <laughs> wouldn't you? And, and then you well, got to Brian, you got to remember the judge that's in that on that side may have seen it differently. That's right. That's why they have three judges. Three I, I think that angles. I think that would rarely I, I think that would rarely happen these days. But you're right, a judge can call it the way he wants. All right, cleared that up. I'm still recovering from Martez McGregor. Maybe he can fight later tonight. I like to hit your hands. Free, probably could fight later hands tonight. <laughs> Hernandez coming in with a right hand, hands and he is very competitive. Got the benefit of the doubt on a dubious knockdown. Welcome to three rounds here tonight. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, yeah, he's, that. he's throwing some good shots, especially when Resendez is trying to get in, and that's the time to throw the punch. He's being very sharp about it. They're both yeah, good combination there by Hernandez. Yeah, able to land on the way in and able to uh, land a combination as Resendiz was trying to get on the inside. Yeah, what makes a great fight to me is when both guys land, you know. They're both landing. They're both, uh, you know, defensively. I'd say Hernandez maybe a little bit slicker defensively, but... You know, Lennox, that's a stick. You had a heavy jab. That's a good hard jab. Yeah. It's a it's definitely a stick because he's sticking in when he's coming in. He's getting sticks. Step back, guys. I got it. Obey the bell here. If that's not the word, it should be. Right. Final ten seconds here. It's getting it's getting better. Change the final seconds. Still doing what he's been doing like three, four rounds ago, and I'm talking about Hernandez. Like that right there, double right hand, triple, then the jab. And here comes Resendez, yeah, yeah, making Resendez. the most of this. Resendez has to step it Big up. exchange. Especially in these next two rounds. Again. Right. Resendez throwing some hard shots there, but his head is snapping back all through this round. Marcos Hernandez, again, the record 14-4-2. Doesn't look all that impressive. Right. He knows he's B-side, but battling hand. to stay on the big Obey card the and battling to get back into the world-class scene. Doing a very good job here so far it's a smart fight from Hernandez so far this, tonight. Yeah, like I said, he, you know, he throws those combinations and he, he thinks about defense after because he's not getting hit after. I'll tell you what. Excellent exchange. There's a right hand right up the middle by Resendiz as you see both men exchanging combinations. Scheduled for 10. This is the ninth round. Final 20 seconds of round number nine. You see the punches landed uh, barely in favor of Marcos Hernandez. But again, a good-looking sharp punches landing as well. Doesn't mean Resendiz isn't very much in this fight. We've got one more round to go. Hey! To to fight hard to the bell. Maybe he isn't. We don't know. We're not judging. As Joe has pointed out numerous times tonight, we're not doing the judging. They're doing that in Minnesota. But it, he does have the look, Joe, to your point, the look of a guy who's poised and winning a fight. Absolutely. Ten seconds. Well, he, seconds. Said, he said that in the fighters' meeting. He said they're, they're taking me as the B side. They're going to be in, in, you know, they're going to they're making a mistake. By they swing hard to the bell. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Mike Fitzgerald scores about 97 to 92. Judges Joseph Mason and Patrick Morley both score the bout 96 to 93. All three in favor of the winner, Marcos Madman Hernandez. Well, I think that's that's a good feeling, right, fellas? In that, all right, not not all that wide, which we, we kind of prefaced it by saying it might not be, but the right guys seem to win this fight. For all the best boxing content, follow PBC on Fox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.